Okay, maggots, listen up. You're here today because you think you have what it takes to be one of the world's dumbest hotshots. Well, I am here to tell you it is going to take special focus and extreme stupidity to call yourself the world's dumbest hotshot. See, when you say focus, you're losing me because I'm more of a fly by the seat of my head. Shut your face, fat ass. You've got nothing. Because only the 20 dumbest hotshots can do this. Look 
where you're going. <laughs> Don't hit the rocks first. When firing a weapon, dude, have your eyes on the target. Go for it. Don't. Oh, you okay, bro? Forget gun control. Oh, you okay, bro? And finally, at parties, dude, go fully vertical for the keg stand. Don't. Let gravity win. This has been Dudes and Don'ts. Now, back to our countdown. Part of being a hotshot means you think you know how to fix stuff. Even if you don't really know what you're doing. Here goes, and it's going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Case in point, this father and son team who think fixing their roof will be a walk in the park. If God wanted us to climb ladders and work on roofs, he wouldn't have invented Mexicans. Oh, it don't look too bad over here. Not too bad at all. We can fix it. You think we can fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can fix it. All right, I'll come on up. Yeah, I'll come on right now then. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, Dad, which part of this ladder did you say was broken? Is it this part right here? Oh, with great fatness comes great responsibility. You gotta test these things out. Well, that's the last time I buy me a ladder from the antique road show. I fell off that ladder there. Uh -huh. Land square in my spine. Oh. I could barely move my leg. Ah. I'm going to do everything I can for you very slowly while you watch. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here so your father can get down. Now's probably a bad time to mention this, but I've had this super sturdy, expanding metal ladder in the truck the whole time. How's your tailbone, by the way? The son is eventually brought to the emergency room, but sustains no serious injuries. How the hell did you do that there? Leave me! Save the ladder! Coming up, it's Hot Shot versus Bull. Plus, Hot, Skip, and a Chunk. But first, a clue to the number one dumbest hot shot. Totally, like, gnarly, you were right. On the Dude, we can totally go into the future and see who the number one dumbest hot shot is. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra wants to get high. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Find out who's number one when World's Dumbest continues. Barb, you left me hanging on the high harmony there. If you ride, you get it. Guy, go motorcycle. We ask these creatures of comfort what it's like to sleep on a Casper. Some things just don't need words. How would I describe overpaying on a used car? It was humiliating. It's expensive. I trusted the wrong used car sites. <sighs> Carfax has a better way. Only Carfax.com can give you the most accurate price based on the Carfax report. So you never have to overpay on a used car again. But uh, I guess life goes on. So, all right, come on, boy. Here we go. 
Let's go, buddy. Stop the shame of overpaying and start your used car search today at the all-new Carfax.com. Carhop Classic for just two ninety nine is the perfect one-two punch of flavor and value. Time, that. You need a trainer to help you eat the burger? Hey, stay out of this. Don't get in my head, man. There's barely room for me in there. Hurry in and try quarter pound double cheeseburger or six inch Philly plus tots for two ninety nine. Shots have always done dumb things trying to impress their friends, family, and most especially, the ladies. Since the gravity defying slingshot ride is a real test of machismo, this guy decides it's the perfect way to impress his date. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. I'm just glad you're so strong. The last guy I was with was a real pussy. Well, oh my god, okay, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I'm a jolly good fella. I think the jolly good fella is gonna have some crap in his panties. All is well. I live a good life. tactic before passing out like a little bitch and then you get a sympathy beach at the parking lot i think i blanked out okay um oh what happened i passed out who are you i peed myself a little bit i got a fart do you like me oh my god upside down you said it didn't go upside down you said it didn't go upside down oh lord i get it oh you guys do this on purpose okay uh, my legs i lost you in that okay Go to your safe place, Kyle. <laughs> my legs don't work anymore. I think I left my lung up there. <laughs> For this wiped out hotshot, the ride finally comes to an end. <laughs> you still with us? Man, does this guy just pass out in every situation? So. I got you a little anniversary gift. Oh, liberty what? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Jump? Oh, come on again? Hot shots from all around the globe gather for the annual running of the bulls in Pamplona. Ah. Regular running already sucks. Why would you add bulls with sharp horns to the mix? <laughs> to help until the bull so much as looks at them. And then they're like, sorry, bro. That bull pants him so quickly, I expected his wiener to be painted red. All right, get a rope, you two. animal. Pulling on its tail is basically like politely asking it to stop. The man suffers serious injuries to his groin, leg, and thigh. I believe in the entire history of the running of the bulls, no one has ever been injured that didn't deserve it. And now... Gonna leave a mark. That's definitely gonna leave a mark. Action. At a backyard cookout, this British hotshot is about to prove his skills on a pogo stick. <laughs> Oh, no, the grown man. 
man in flip-flops and cargo shorts jumping on a pogo stick injured himself? I feel so bad for him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Applaud your own failure. Instead of heading straight to the hospital, this hotshot decides to fix his injuries by crowdsourcing. Let me see. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, I can help. I got medical training. You are not I'm not strong enough. Let me just say. As a comedian, it is my duty to inform you that if you were to fart right now, it would be extra hilarious. Yeah, pull it, Craig. Uh, what happened? Oh. <laughs> the dislocated finger is successfully reset. All right, this party's not over. Grandma, strap on the rollerblades. Gotham's villains have all been practicing parkour. It looks like it's keep up or give up for our hotshot hero. You know what Gotham really needs is for you to get back to your job at the drive-thru. Ah! Oh, oh, and by Batmobile, I mean ambulance. Down, so Batman's just kind of going around making sure that sheds are up to code. Batman? Yes. Dude, what the f Why would you do that? Because I'm Batman. You did it for Gotham, dude. Dude, my dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, my dad's gonna kill me. That shed is where he goes to drink. That dude walks away unharmed. But will this shed ever be rebuilt? Will the owner really be that mad? And who will continue to defend Gotham City? Well, looks like there's a new boss in town, and he happens to have the keys to the Batmobile. Are you sure you're not gay? Why does everybody think that? Coming up, it's raining hot shots. Plus, what started this roommate rumble? And who will be crowned the number one dumbest hot shot? Find out when World's Dumbest returns. Hey, you. Not you. You. Are you a big fan of the show? Well, then get on Twitter and tweet us. If you do, I might even tweet you back. Like the only crime here is this guy's being super annoying. Hey, what do you want? You always ruin everything in over 60 different episodes. What are you gonna ruin? Tell me it's not uh, late night hosts. Well, actually, I said no. Okay, Adam ruins everything. Watch now on demand. Do you have a weapon? Nope, I'm only armed with the facts. Oh, not again. Adam ruins everything. 
Watch now on demand. Our punishment's magical. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Jump right now on the table. Jump. <laughs> harder than dealing with a hot shot is living with one. Take, for example, number 13, a man who just wants an apology from the roommate who ate his food. I feel like I got played on me or not, and I feel like I got disrespect in my so as far as I'm concerned, my we can get down, my we can get down, or you can apologize. Whoa, I haven't heard the N-word this much since I hung out with my grandpa last week. I don't know, Oh, I'm with that guy. I go off if some bitch steals my yogurt. Just keep different Tupperwares with my name written on them. Do you have a local place where you can buy some Tupperwares? Hit him, Rick. That's some shameful stuff. You don't eat nobody food like that. You know that lasagna you had in the refrigerator? He ate it. Sweet. That's like the first fight in Compton's history that ended in a man hug. Talk to you. Sleep alone, bro. Alright, my All right, we can talk about it, but I might. Oh, so we can express our feelings and cuddle? I didn't even know that was an option. Talk about it now, you think this fight is bad? You should have seen the fight they got in over who got the top bump. Calling all hot shots. It's the Red Bull Hair Scramble, Austria's premier dirt bike race. Go! Come on, Tita. You can do this, Tita. I'm going to win this race here. We've secretly dug a giant pit in the middle of this motocross track. Let's see if any of these dudes notice. This race is mine to lose. No! I'm oh. going to win now. No! no. Oh. I told you the new Apple map sucks. Come on, come to the do this. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Follow me, guys. I know a shortcut. Oh. Finger bar. Finger bar. Dirt bike race or comedy routine? Come on, dudes. Yeah! Gunter, you're down here? Yeah, I'm down here. Wolf, is that you? Hands open, Hagen. Hey, we should start our own club. First rule, no bikes. Once again, fans, we have a 35-way tie for first. And last. Yeah, oh, Who is responsible for this hole? And now, World's Dumbest Hot Shots proudly presents a song for all you hot shots who think getting a tattoo makes you more of a man. Don't you be hard so you get a tattoo. Sit in the chair, pick the one for you. Feeling bad to the bone. Needle hits flesh and your cover is blown. Why get a tattoo if you cry like a girl? Blubbering, sniveling. Look like you're gonna hurt. You wanna be tough.
time-honored tradition where friends get together to celebrate the opposite sex. But in Norway, these hotshots are rewriting the rules. This groom-to-be thinks his buddies have taken him bungee jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, scared. <laughs> scared. Don't let me fall too soon, okay? Oh. Are there no strip clubs in Norway? Yeah. Uh, like, like this. My arms are okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then what? Lean, lean forward and just let go. Okay? And then about back up like a yo yo, yeah? Like a yo yo, right? Yeah. This is one bachelor party. You can show your wife all the pictures. Okay. Three, yeah. two, yeah. one. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Three, yeah. two, yeah. What? Ha ha ha, Now where are the boobies? Okay, you got me. You got me. Hey, don't worry. I know some girls over at the Ikea that'll show us their meatballs. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Blindfold on, because now you are going to receive oral sex from a bunch of models. <laughs> this was actually pretty harmless, which is nice, because usually when this many bald white guys get together, it's trouble. <laughs> to the gun show. Maybe boy, gun. Oh, oh, sit down. Oh, sit down now. And what happens when this guy takes the quick way down? But first, a clue to the number one dumbest hot shot. Wait, this is where you're taking me on a date? We're all good. They know me here. I'm a VIP. We're all set drive through. How can I help you? Hey, Sally. Give me a dopey, out of shape athlete with a huge pair of floppity man boobs. Oh! And make sure he's a real screamer. Uh, that sounds so disgusting. Oh, it will be. You just ordered the number one dumbest hot shot ever. Get out of here. This must be my lucky night. Trust me, it won't be. Find out who's number one when World's Dumbest returns. You can experience dumb like never before. With the World's Dumbest app. It's the best videos whenever you want them. It's free on your phone or tablet. Use the app while you watch the show. Take dumb to a whole new level. Go to the App Store and download it now. Tell them we're flexible. Don't worry. My Dutch is okay. Just okay? Mm-hmm. There's a man as Erg Super. Tell them we need this merger. And they have an knuffel nodig. It's happening. Just okay is not okay, especially when it comes to your network. AT&T is America's best wireless network. And now get the option of Spotify Premium on us with your unlimited plan. More for your thing. That's our thing. Sal, since you're a loser, jump in that box right there. Take this with you. No peeking. I mean, it smells like fried chicken. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sal is a gift to America, to the world, right? Yes. I'm gonna pass out. No matter where you are, the True TV app serves up comedies like Impractical Jokers. <laughs> Tacoma FD. I just want you to think of me as one of the guys. Then, uh, see you in the showers. Not if I see you first. Uh, and I'm sorry. Toy! Please don't ever do that again. Toy! Are you done? Toy. For laughs at home and on the go, get the true TV app. Don't tell me how to live. You're not my mother. Okay. My fellow Americans, we are really excited to be back with new episodes and new topics for Adam Ruins Everything. Policing is so out of control in this country, it's making our communities and cops less safe. You're going to get some mean tweets for this one. Adam Ruins Everything. Watch now on demand. I'm John Enos. Here's what we've learned so far. The dumber you are, the harder you fall. 
someone's not getting late tonight. <laughs> and finally, bachelor parties in Norway suck. <laughs> and that is what we've learned so far. Now let's get back to our countdown. The number nine dumbest hotshot is attempting to impress his girlfriend. cousin, who was bitten by a radioactive idiot. My shoes are ridiculously slippery. You know what's funny? I just realized I left my brick climbing shoes at home. What was I thinking? Yeah, this is definitely slippery. Definitely. Oh my god, you scare me, kid. No, no, that's all right. It's cool. Hey, Johnson, did you remember to line that top floor with brick lubricant? I don't want the pigeons up there. Almost. Oh, yeah. Almost there. So how are you gonna get down? What? My guess is quickly and painfully. Dude, I don't know. I... <laughs> don't worry. His feet broke his fall. His knees broke his pelvis, and his pelvis broke his jaw. <laughs> Damien. So I guess we're not going to Target anymore. Do you want to just, like, go straight to the ER? Amazingly, Damien's only injuries are a pair of fractured heels. He's back on his feet in just a few months. I don't understand a stunt where if it goes perfectly according to plan, you're stuck on the roof of an ugly building. <laughs> Damien! Next, our countdown brings us to a house party in Ireland where this inebriated hotshot has accepted a dare. Okay, so Sean's gonna fly through that window there and land in the front yard, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah you can do it, Sean. Go right through, get up enough speed there. Go right through the window. How do we know for sure we can't fly? Maybe no one's ever tried as Irishly as I'm about to. Drink up for courage, lads. Drink up for courage. You're a special kind of drunk when you're doing shots out of a soup bowl. All right, it's the countdown. Three, two, one, go! No! <laughs> one kind of Irish goodbye is just leaving a party without telling anybody. No! <laughs> this is the other kind. Hey, you down there. Can you throw me two more beers, please? I'm bleeding out my buzz. There you have it. An amazing stunt by Sean. Amazing. The liquored up lad needs 42 staples in his arm and on his chest. The stereotype that Irish people get drunk more often than non-Irish people is crap. The stereotype that they do dumber stuff when they're drunk is extremely accurate. <laughs> And now it's time for the Hot Shots edition of That's Nuts. Yeah, check it! Woo! Up there! Go! That's nuts. Oh. That was nuts. This is gonna be funny as This is gonna hurt like hell. <laughs> In Spokane, Washington, a dumb hot shot named Brad has accepted a challenge from his buddies. Come on! <laughs> That's a big ass crawdad. <laughs> Crawdaddy on the nipple? What base is that? Yes, I'd like to order the pasta with crawfish smothered in nipple blood and chest hair. It sounds delicious. <laughs> Crawfish off your nipple, just dip it in the water. Oh, let go! Oh, all right, all right, nipple so pulled out. Oh, yeah, dude, look at that knife right there. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, you, crawfish. I dare you do the only thing you can do. <laughs> That's what my nipple looked like after two weeks of breastfeeding. Am I right, new moms? Huh? 
crawfish and nipple are unharmed. You know, after his law firm saw this video, they had severe reservations about making him partner. Okay, okay, how are you? Okay, oh, thanks. A hotshot enters a convenience store. <clears throat> give me all the money. Armed with a BB gun. Don't do anything stupid. Just give me the money and, you know. I see your BB gun, and I raise you a bullet gun. Oh, 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 what is that? What is that? Wait, hey, don't touch. What is that real gun, okay? Why? Why? Yeah. What do you think? Mr. BB Gun should have started running as soon as he saw the store owner go with the sideways gangsta grip. What do you mean, real gun? Like, it's got bullets? Yes, it has bullets. Not like BBs like you. Oh, oh. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. Uh, never mind. This is a toy. Uh, my motivation's changed. What aisle do you sell diapers in? <laughs> okay, bye. Where are you going? Hey, hey. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ten bucks on pump three. The extra dumb hotshot is caught hiding in a nearby apartment and arrested for attempted robbery. Attempted robbery is kind of a compliment here. I probably would have charged him with failed completely and totally embarrassed yourself robbery. Coming up, Go. the human speed bump. And which celebrity hotshot is letting it all hang out? Find out when World's Dumbest continues. I'm Emily Axford. That's Adam Conover. We're really excited to be back with new episodes for Adam Ruins Everything. Recycling isn't the easy environmental cure-all you think it is. Women's shaving products cost more than men's, even though the only thing that's different is the packaging. Solid ruin, Em. Me and Adam do this all the time. Adam Ruins Everything. Watch now on demand. Emily can kind of get carried away with the ruining. I learned it from watching you. Do you have a weapon? Nope. I'm only armed with the facts. Oh, oh, oh not again. Adam ruins everything. Watch now on demand. Our punishment's magical. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Jump right now on the table. Jump. <laughs> Shots love being the center of attention. But sometimes dumb hot shots are one up by even dumber hot shots. Who are on the sidelines. Which brings us to number five. This young man who is about to yank his friend's chain. John Summer the chain. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I call this the Texas Chain Jump Massacre. You did it! You totally broke his arm for no reason. Yeah, good one. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get to somebody, please! First thing to do is stabilize him. Maybe get him a dad with a job. Calm down. Are you sure? Am I sure about what? About my arm going the wrong direction? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what, did you hear pop or anything? Oh. Yeah, I know you feel pain, and yes, yes, your arm looks like a question mark. But did you hear anything? Lord, help me. I can't do anything, man. I don't want to move you and make it worse. You can stop filming and call 911, mother Paramedics arrive and take the shrieking skateboarder to the ER. He's treated for a broken arm. Ha ha ha, the lesson here? Choose better friends, dummy. <laughs> John, show me the chain. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> To world's dumbest entertainment news i'm brock labeouf and i'm viviana spink tonight celebrity babies without makeup i'll tell you who needs her makeup first thing in the morning yikes 
Hold on, we've got breaking celebrity news from LAX. Twilight actor Bronson Pelletier is doing something crazy. Who? Werewolf number four. Let's go there now. Someone's on team uncircumcised. How do I feel about getting the middle seat? Why don't I show you? Carfax.com can give you the most accurate price based on the Carfax report. Stop the shame of overpaying and start your used car search today at Carfax.com. It's a punishment, and you know that you have to do it. Thank you for being here. No matter where you are, the True TV app serves up comedies like Impractical Jokers. <laughs> to 
Tacoma MD. I just want you to think of me as one of the guys. Then, uh, see you in the showers. <laughs> Not if I see you first. What? And I'm sorry. Toy! Please don't ever do that again. Toy! Are you done? Toy. For laughs at home and on the go, get the True TV app. Don't tell me how to live. You're not my mother. <laughs> That's Adam Conover. What do you want? You always ruin everything. People say that about me all the time. Adam, you know too much. Sorry, someone else just said a common misconception. Gotta go. Adam ruins everything. Watch now on demand. I'm standing here with the one, the only, the man simply known as Little Donnie. Yes, Little Donnie. Hello, Little Donnie. Congratulations on being our number one dumbest hotshot. Donnie is an aspiring wrestler who puts on shows in local parking lots with his other wrestling pals. Any fine goes. Chains. Everything. What would you say your style is more like? Good. Little Donnie is a man of few words, but still too many. What match are you in today? Hardcore match and the house is coming down. Just like my house came down when my daddy leaned on it. Tonight's main event, Little Donnie versus the Crusher. And it's on, people. Can we watch this clip in regular speed, or is it just in slow motion? Uh-oh, here comes the aluminum catering tray. That's gonna leave a mark on the tray. He'll be fine. For the big finale, Donnie raises the stakes by attempting what is known as a blade job, cutting himself with a hidden razor. Oh, sure. When these guys cut themselves, it's cool. But when I do it, it's straight to the school psychologist. <laughs> Damn that childproof razor packaging. <laughs> Donnie, hurry up. I gotta pick up the kids from soccer in an hour. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, what? Hey, come here, Logan. <laughs> Oh, little Donnie, you had me going till the razors came out. You killed one of magic. After struggling to open the razor, Donnie loses the match anyway. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Well, Donnie, I'd love to get you on the circuit, get you going big time, but uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this out loud. You are too dumb to wrestle. Oh, <laughs> oh,